Hey, welcome to Cook by Cass. In this video, we'll be making this creamy cauliflower risotto. Here are the ingredients that you'll need and I'll walk you through the measurements. One cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup heavy cream, half a teaspoon of pepper and salt, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon minced garlic, a tablespoon of butter, and three cups of riced cauliflower. I'm using frozen. So let's heat our pan and get some butter in there. Just get that spread out, let that melt. And I'm actually using ghee. Um, so now add the minced garlic, let that cook a little bit. Release some of that flavor into the butter. That just smells so good. Yep, so just mix that up. Just gonna wanna make sure that the garlic is cooking and not burning, but just let it cook. And you'll know it's time when it gets a little aromatic. You can smell the garlic and now it's time to go ahead and put in your rice cauliflower. Um, so for mine, since it's frozen, I'm gonna go ahead and let the rice cauliflower cook a little bit. So the goal is just kind of thawing this out and letting it absorb some of the flavor after a few seconds and just breaking up any frozen clumps that you might see. So now I'm gonna add the onion powder, the salt, and the black pepper once it's thawed out. If yours is fresh or already thawed out, you can just add the seasonings to the oil, to the butter and the um, minced garlic. And then you can add your cauliflower so you just want to work the seasoning in. Now you can add the heavy cream. And that'll help get um, some of those seasonings all throughout as well. So just work it through. Make sure you get the heavy cream all over the cauliflower because this is key for the creaminess. So you want every piece to have some heavy cream on it. So just work it in. And it's a really quick meal to make, but the key is you want the flavor to get a chance to set in. So now we're doing the cheese and mixing that in. So just work that in. Kind of folding in the sides to lock in some uh, heat to help the shredded cheese melt. So you wanna let that go for about five to seven minutes and you'll see once it's starting to be finished, you can see the cream is really setting in. It's not much uh, liquid on the bottom as you can see. So it's not burning, um, but the liquid is evaporating and the cauliflower is absorbing it. So yeah, you just let that work through and you can see the change in the texture. Oh God, it looks so good. Yeah, so now you can see a slight color change. It seems to have absorbed all of the shredded cheese, heavy cream, um, butter. So you can just kind of mix to check it and make sure that yeah, Yep, everything, and you can see the moisture is a lot less, so that means it's gone into the cauliflower. So traditional risotto is done with uh, rice, 
but this option, um, if you want to get more vegetables um, and still have something that's creamy and delicious, you could try this. Um, cauliflower has vitamin B in it and fiber, so it's pretty good for you. So we'll just slide this onto a plate. Try not to leave too much behind because it's, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, so now if you want, um, you can serve it like this. Um, I prefer garnishing items, so um, you can top it with your an herb of your choice. I like parsley, so I'm just putting a little bit of parsley on top. And yeah, this is it. Cauliflower risotto. Yep, so just a few pictures so you can see it. And you can serve it with um, just about anything. Whatever meal you have, you can pair with that. I actually had salmon and green beans. So I paired it with that. And I just set the salmon on top. But yeah, it's, it's really delicious. So I hope you get a chance to make it. Let me know your thoughts. Rate, comment, and subscribe.